this is Kevin with softwaremedia.com and today I'm going to be walking you through a tutorial of getting started with Turbo Project by Officeworks Software. This is a uh, basic project management and uh, scheduling suite uh, with a few different variations. Today I'm going to be using Turbo Project for the standard version which sells for $79 on our website. Uh, the software really is an excellent value for uh, everything that's included in the package. If we uh, tab over to Microsoft Office Project 2007 you can see that the uh, base price here starts at $400 dollars for project 2007 compared to just $79 for turbo project for standard and like I said a lot of the same features so uh, let's get started here welcome to turbo project version 4 uh, for today's tutorial what we want to do is create a new project and we're going to be setting up a fake project here uh, for a basic kitchen remodel. What we want to do is uh, create a new file. Uh, we'll call it kitchen1 and just a basic description here interior and exterior. Okay so now that we have our uh, project dates um, set and ready to go first thing we want to do is add our first activity. So um, we can create our first uh, major category here called um, carpentry. Just uh, hit enter. That'll uh, create a carpentry entry in our activities here. Um, so our first uh, activity under carpentry would be internal walls. And if you hit enter, um, so right now these two are set up um, both as standard activities. They have a standard duration of five days. Um, to make internal walls um, a subcategory of carpentry, um, all you have to do is hit this uh, little indent arrow here, and then there we go. Um, carpentry is now our uh, category title and you can collapse uh, the categories at any time and then internal walls is our uh, first activity name there. So what I'm going to go through is uh, just adding our other activities for our kitchen remodel project and I'll check back with you when I have these completed. So the next step in your project planning is setting your uh, duration of your activities. So uh, we'll start with uh, internal walls here. You just click on them and it brings up um, this little uh, clicker here. And we can just leave these at five days. Um, set walls as three days, windows three days. You can also just uh, type these in and hit enter as you go down the line if that's easier for you. And there we go. There's our uh, activity durations. You can see in our uh, Gantt chart here the um, bars have corresponded to our changes. So now that we have all of our activities set up, um, next thing you want to do is connect your activities. Uh, if you click on one of the Gantt chart bars here, it highlights it. If you click on the activity below it, it'll make a nice link there and you can just uh, keep going right down the line. Another way to easily um, uh, set up all of your activity links here, if they're just kind of one right after another, what you can do is just um, highlight them all with control key. Just hold down the control key. And then you can go um, right up to the top here. There's a chain tool, which will basically link them all end to end. Um, you click up to the top row here and then click this little button which is zoom project and that will fit your Gantt chart to your window. Um, so if we go to our next ones here we can also create a chain nice and easy and what we can do is click on the end of one of our chains and hook it to our next chain here and once again we'll zoom out and there we go there's our project um, from start to finish okay now that we have all of our activities entered and all of our chains built uh, you can see our complete Gantt timeline here uh, this green line indicates today's date and you can see that uh, Turbo Project automatically calculated our end date as June 11th 2009 so if you're going through and you um, put in all your activities and you decided that you don't want your project to end on June 11th, you can go through and just make some tweaks, um, do a little bit of project management as you're going along here. 
So let's say um, maybe you can start painting your exterior as your wallpaper guy's working inside. Maybe save a few days that way. You can uh, adjust the chain and there it bumped us back um, all the way till uh, June the 5th. So you can kind of go through your project, you know, make changes as necessary. And that's the great thing about Turbo Project is it uh, makes all of that so easy to do. So the next step, uh, moving on from the activities, is to go to our resource table. This is where you enter all of your um, people that are going to be working on your job, and um, you can enter pertinent information for them. So we're going to stick with our sample data here. Um, our first guy working on our project is Mike. Um, he is a carpenter. And let me see, his rate is uh, $50 an hour. So we'll just enter in his data here. And you can see all the other uh, fields have kind of uh, propagated automatically. And um, those settings are OK. So what we'll do is just go through and um, enter in all of our other uh, contractors here and build our complete resource table. Now that we have all of our resources entered here, you can see uh, I've entered uh, pay rates for all these guys as well as their individual skills. Uh, what we can do is go back to our outline Gantt and um, we'll go up to view and we'll say open resource list. So what you want to do is start assigning these guys um, to each activity that we have going on. So uh, if we go up here and click on our first one, which is um, internal walls, what we'll do is uh, click on Mike here, and then you just hit uh, the assign button. And you can see it puts a little guy over here, and then Mike's name is now next to uh, that bar in the Gantt chart. Well, we now have resources assigned to all of our individual activities. Uh, we can close our resource list here, and you can see um, all of our workers have uh, their assignments and their start dates, and it makes scheduling extremely easy. Okay, well, we have our two sub-projects here, and what we want to do now is add something called an event. An event is usually some kind of report or an important milestone uh, within your complete project. So if we click on uh, finishing here, let's say we want to add an event right before we start uh, the finishing of our kitchen. All we got to do is right-click on it, and we'll go to Add Planning Object and click on Event. Now, um, as of right now, the event is part of uh, the carpentry sub project. Uh, so once again, we'll use the uh, out that button to make it its uh, own specific event. So uh, we'll type in an, an event here. We'll say um, progress report due. And there we go. So what we want to do is uh, link our event to our uh, other flow of activities here. So we'll click on the one prior to it, which is install doors, and we'll just join a chain to it um, with the chain tool. And there we go, it's uh, right in line um, with our Gantt chart and kind of flows right through. So that's how you add an event. So once we have every aspect of our project entered into a turbo project here, it's um, time to do a little bit of analysis. We can go down to a profile view. And this basically shows our resource allocation, uh, both per day and for the duration of the project. Our line coming up through here shows our total cumulative hours worked. So uh, that's uh, basically how to get started here with um, Turbo Project. Uh, there's obviously a lot more um, to go into as far as project analysis, um, but we can go ahead and print some um, reports based on what we've done so far. So if you hit print preview, it brings up a box here. I think it's cutting off part of your screen, but uh, you can see it uh, lays it out very nicely for you. And uh, So again, this is uh, Turbo Project version 4, and my name's Kevin with softwaremedia.com. We'll see you next time.